y'all. It's Diane with Y'all Craft One in my old barn door. And I am working on some of the farm journals that I feel like I've been working on forever. I've just had so much going on. <laughs> so I have been working on them. It's just been a little bit at a time. But <laughs> I'm having fun and I'm enjoying it. And um, this is one of them that I'm working on. And as you can see, I'm working in larger, or working on larger size journals. And I'm getting ready to start working on the inside of the journal. Oh, I gotta fix that. I just put that on. Um, but anyways, um, I was getting ready to put the tabs on it and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna turn the video on and let it play. Um, because I have, um, I wanna use my labels that I have been having so much fun making. I think I've gone a little label crazy. <laughs> but I thought I would show you a few different ways um, that you can use labels in your journal. And there's all kinds of ways, but these are just a few um, that I thought we would play with and have fun. So I'll just show you real quick um, the labels I've been working on. <laughs> and I do say, I, I kinda went a little label crazy. And that's okay because there's lots and lots of labels for you to play with in the shop. But let me make sure you can see. Um, so this is one of them. This has like farm words. Um, and the, I don't know if you can see the gingham. It looks red. Um, but on my printer it prints out and it looks a little bit reddish orange. So that's how I have it listed. It's red orange labels. Or word labels so these have kind of farm words on them and then these are teal and like a rust color I don't know if you can see that okay um, but it's in the camera it looks a little more orange than what it actually is it's it's more of a brown it's like a rust color but these have fall words but they don't have to just be used for fall because um, I have some generic words in here too that you can use you know any other time and they don't have to just be farm journals you can use these for anything so there's those then there are these these I did two of these and the reason I did is because I wanted to give you a little bit larger size label to play with um, in case you wanted to label a page in your journal or something like that so these are the smaller ones and at the bottom, I didn't want to leave, um, you know, a bunch of white space. So I just filled in and gave you some strips that you can use um, sort of like washi. And I'll show you that in another video. Um, but I've got some washi in the shop too um, that I can either print on rice paper and ship it to you. Or you can print it yourself at home. You can either print it on rice paper. You can print it on vellum. You can print it on plain white um, just plain white copy paper and use it just like washi um, in your journals but um, I'll do a video on that but anyways it's kind of like this you know little washi pieces like this um, so anyway so these are the smaller ones and these have some fall things but they have some that are just very generic that you can use at any time Here's the larger size ones and they're not you know super there's not a super big difference you know. But they're a little bit larger so there's those and then I have um, a sheet of green ones and some that are just plain in the center some with the chalkboard and you can use these vertical or horizontal this one you would use a horizontal and this one you would use vertical some with chicken wire and then some with like a vintage ledger in there so those are the green gingham ones I'm loving me some gingham, y'all. <laughs> then you have this set, which is blues. So you have one that's got the white background, one with chalkboard, and then the plain background with a different color blue. Then there are the black and white farmhouse style ones. There's a like a purple lavender color. So you can use these for fog. You can use them in a farm journal. You can use these in anything, a floral. Ooh, they would be really pretty in a floral journal. Um, but I'm going to use them, you know, you can use them for fall. I'm going to use them in my farm journal. Um, then these are like, um, they're more orange. And you have three different backgrounds in these. These kind of look like 
This one kind of looks a little bit like concrete. Then there's um, one in there that's a variety sheet. So you get all kinds of different ones and different sizes. And I just kind of laid them out on the page so that you could get the biggest bang for your buck. Then there are orange and teal ones for, you know, for your fall stuff or farm stuff. Oops, there's another set of the green ones. These are more like a teal blue. So you get the top half with the chalkboard and the bottom half that are just blank. Um, but they're a more teal. I don't know if you can really, they look really blue on camera, but they're really more teal color. These are the red ones that are just a full sheet of red with the chalkboard. Oops, I double printed that again. That's the same one I already showed you. I guess these are some, just some, um, anyway, I don't know. There's about 15 label digitals in the shop now because, <laughs> like I say, I went a little crazy. And then um, I have, you know, you got to have words to go in your labels or you can use these for anything. But these are um, just kind of farm country words. And some fall words are in here, too, like Scarecrow, but that didn't have to be for fall. Um, there was another one, Harvest, but that doesn't have to be for fall. But falling leaves, you know, just different ones, but they're mainly farm words. So those are in the shop. And then, <laughs> this is a misprint, but these are in my farm label set, and there's a bunch of labels in that set. And this is some of the labels, and like I say, I misprinted it. Um, but I'm going to show you what you can do with the half pieces. I mean, you can use the half pieces is what I'm saying. So not that I need to show you how to do them, but you know what I mean. We're just going to play and have fun. So those are <laughs> the labels that I have in the shop. And um, again, I will show you in another video. I'll show you the washies so we don't take so much time up on this video. But let's get started playing in our journal. So basically, when I'm getting ready to do this, I just kind of start flipping through my journal. Um, that's going to drive me crazy. Um, I just kind of start flipping through my journal to see where I think, um, you know, I might would like a page to have. Like right here is kind of a blank spot. And so I've already um, taken some of the uh, labels and broken them up. And so what I want to do is I want to... I want to kind of look and see, you know, what colors I have in front of this that will, you know, because you'll be able to see it behind there. So I just kind of want to mix and match. And let's see. I kind of like this green one right here, but I, I think it's going to clash with, um, and this is going to be a little bit longer of a video today, so I hope y'all are okay with that. I've been trying to do shorter videos. See there? I think that's cute. I don't know if it clashes with this green though. Let me see what else I've got. I have that denim with the coffee stain on it. See, it's got the little coffee stain. Maybe we'll use that one. And as you can see on the back of it, <laughs> it was a misprint. I misprinted something on um, cardstock, but you know, I'm not gonna waste my cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, so let's use this label. So you can either stitch it, um, you can faux stitch it, which means you just stitch this and then glue it on if you've already put your journal together, which I have. So it's a little bit harder to do stitching on a journal that's already put together. Um, but I'll show you what the faux stitching is. I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just took it to the sewing machine, ran a line of zigzag across the label, and then I'm just going to glue it like a... Like normal but then it'll look like it's stitched on the page so that's what we're gonna do with that one okay so I got that glued down so now I'm just gonna kind of flip through my pages and see where I feel like a label is called for <laughs> or a page tab um, but I don't want all you know label page tabs because I want some laces and some fabrics billowing out of the journal as well so I don't want to overload it, and I tend to be, um, I tend to do that sometimes. Okay, so see on this page here, you know, with just the um, the grid paper, I think we could put a label on here. And 
I don't know why, but I'm kind of liking this one. And I just think this one's super cute. I love what it says. Y'all know my love for coffee. And so I think we're going to put that one there. So I'm just going to add some glue. And we're just going to put it right in the corner up here. Now, sometimes um, the grid paper or graph paper, whichever way you want to call it, um, sometimes it's kind of thin, so I always like to check the back of it and see if it's, you know, sometimes the glue will show through. But a simple solution for that is just to add another label. Because <laughs> why not? And I like, let's see, I don't have all of my labels printed out simply because I've used a bunch of them. So, um, let's see what we got. Oh, I like this one. It says, if you can be anything, be kind. And I like the brown to go with the browns of the cotton on this page. So we're going to put this one here. Just like so. And that way it kind of hides the fact that, you know, you've glued it on the other side. And on the other side it hides it that you've glued it on this side. And there's a label. Alright, so that kind of, <clears throat> excuse me gives you an idea of you know some ways that you can use labels in your journal and oh my goodness there are so many ways that you can use labels in your journal I'm just kind of flipping through here like this page is kind of bare and y'all know me and my I'm just not a fan of white pages but I, it's growing on me and the reason it's growing on me is because I'm now journaling in a journal and I'm I kind of like the white pages because when I want to go in and journal something you know, I can take some of my favorite papers or designs or patterns, you know, whether it be wallpaper or um, uh, wrapping paper or, uh, you know, whatever. And I can lay it on that white paper and make it my own. So I'm kind of liking the white pages, but we're going to put something on this white page just because. And you know what? We've got this black and white bag here, so maybe... We can use one of these black and white farmhouse labels. I like the Chase Your Dreams. Oh, I definitely like the Heifer Please. That's the one we're going to use on this one. And on this one, we're just going to put it. You can either put it in this corner or this corner. Let's put it in this corner because I like it there. So I'm going to just use glue stick. So let me get me a little glue page here. Sorry if I'm shadowing, um, but I have to, I'm have to. i having to stand up to be able to see in the camera <laughs> just to make sure that y'all can see what I'm doing. I guess I could just leave the book sitting. I might have to zoom out, though. I don't think it's going to work because I, I just can't. The book's so big, I can't fit the whole thing in here. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to keep going, and I'll probably put a label on this page. But I won't do it now because y'all have already seen me do that. Okay, this page could use a page tab over here. It just needs a little color. And I want it to kind of stick out. So let's see what label we want to use for our page tab. I like this one. This one is the farmer. Uh, the definition of a farmer. Someone who's outstanding in their field. <laughs> Imagine that. And I kind of want it to hang off the side of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the page. So I want to see. Yeah. That sticks out enough. I don't want it to stick out too far. Um, but we might could even make this, just glue it here and here, and it could be a little tuck too. So I think that's what I'll do. There we go. Just like that. And now it can be a page tab, and you can tuck something in there too. Okay, so I'm just going to keep flipping and see if I can see anywhere else that I would like to add one. I mean, there's lots of places, and I'm not going to make, you know, I'm not, well, I'm not making you do anything, but I'm not going to, you know, sit and do the whole book with y'all watching because um, that would just be boring. Um, but there are some other ways that you can use labels. And, well, there was, uh, yeah. I'm going to close this because um, I'll work in it a little bit more. So I need some tags 
for the journal and I probably need to bring you down a little and I have some that are um, you know from my collages and I mean these are pretty just like they are but you know if you want to add a little extra something to them so let me just go in here and I'm just gonna pull some out I am one that has to have them kind of where I can sift through them a little easier um, Let's see, the orange kind of looks cute with that. So that one's a little bit too big. So let's see if we can find the smaller one. That one's cute, but it kind of clashes with that yellow. I like that one. Kind of like the teal with it. Let me see what else I've got in my little pile here since I've already pulled some out. Here's some of the, um, this is in the, um, the farm label kit, um, but I love that little phrase. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the teal because I just like this color up against this. So, let me scoot some stuff out of my way. I mean, you can just do a simple little label here in the center just to add a little something, you know, and give it a little more dimension. Um, and I want to cut off that light edge there real quick. There we go. And I think I want to add a word in this. So let me grab my words over here. Where did I put my words? Let me find them. Okay, got my words. So I think I want to just do maybe, maybe this shepherd's grove here. And I think I just want to tear it out um, versus cutting it out. I, I left lots of st space in between these so that you could pick and choose which you want to do, but I think I'm going to tear on this one. Uh, I think I want to tear it this way. Hmm. I better tear this way first because if not, I'm gonna mess up my mess up my word. Okay. Now we can tear it that way, and I'm just gonna tear this little tiny piece off here. Okay. And I'm not one, I don't like it perfect, so I like it with the torn look. So that's super cute on there with it saying Shepherd's Grove. I think it needs to be a little smaller though, so I'm just going to tear some of the coffee dyed paper off at the top and make it just a little smaller. Like that. Oh, focus. <laughs> so then I'm just going to put that there in the center, like so. And then you can put a tag topper or whatever you want to on there. Um, let me grab another one because you can also take your labels and use them as a decoration on the side. Oh, this is a good spot to use. The ones that are uh, that I, um, I misprinted. And I like this distressed denim labor label. So I went ahead and tore it out. And I think I want to put it right here but I think I want to kind of bring it in some so that it's not so big so well Remington are you tired she just yawned to be yawn <laughs> and that way it gives it a little more dimension too and then I think I'm going to take this and just fold it over so we'll just glue that part and fold him over and that way when you go to this side You've got a little bit of something to look at too. Okay, so now that we've put that there, I want something to top it with. But I also want to put a word label here, I think. Let's see if we can find, see that kind of clashes with that. I have some other words here. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, you know what, I like this one. Let's do this one, the Be Humble and Kind. So these are just simple little tags that you can make in no time at all just by adding a label or two. There we go, just like so. And then I think I want to use the label, a label, as maybe a topper. And I think I like this one right here because it's, you know, kind of a neutral color. So I can just add it on the top there and let it be the topper for my tag. So 
I'm just going to lay it in right here. Fold it to the back. And then I'll grab my crocodile. And I think I want the bigger size. So we'll just put us a little hole in there. And then run us a piece of fabric or something through there. You know what? I've got this piece of fabric laying on my desk. Let's just use it. I didn't punch my hole very good, did I? So you can do it that way. Or you can just leave the label as the topper alone. You know, it'll... It'll hold up on its own. Let's do one and I'll show you what I mean. So I have this one. We can just put a, a label um, as a topper up here. Let's, let's use this one. It's kind of a good neutral color. So let's use it. So like this. So we'll just bring it kind of halfway down. Fold it over. And then that's your label topper. And I think it's cute like that. Let's see, this one needs something, maybe a word, something on it. I kind of like that. But maybe we can layer some. Let's see. I kind of have that. I think that's too cream, though, up against that yellow. Let me see. We could bring in a different color blue, because, you know, we've got this light blue here. So maybe we could just do something like that. Yeah, I like that. And we'll just take this one and fold it around to the back. And it still leaves you plenty of room to journal. You know, and you've got a little bit of decoration on the back as well. And there's your cute little um, tag to go in your journal. So, um, you can also use these as toppers for like your, um, this is some vintage, uh, what do they call these? They're not index cards, but they're the little file folders that go between the index cards. You know what I mean. So those are vintage or, you know, I've got um, little index cards here. So you could actually take um, like a, a, a label like this and just add a little glue to it. Whoops. You know and poke it right there and then you can stick this down in a pocket and it's a cute little tag that somebody can journal on you can put it on this side or you can put it on this side you can also take a label let's just let's use this one i got a mess going on over here don't i <laughs> so take one and just glue like half you know half of it and then you take it and you put it on here. And that way you've got a little side tuck, you know, so you can put it in this in a side pocket. And then you can pull it out and you can journal on it. So those are a few things that you can do with um, index cards. And then like this, this, these are super cute and it's already got the tab. So I mean, you could put a label up here and just trim around it. Um, but you can put a label here and then it's just enough of something that kind of decorates it to you know give it a little something but it's not too much that it overwhelms it let's add this one to it too let's see I don't even know where we are on our time y'all I've been trying to do shorter videos because I kind of felt like I was burning people out because people weren't watching as much anymore so I was trying to shorten the videos and see if it you know if that would if that was what the problem was, I should have just cut this or put it on my Tim Holtz um, deco edge trimmer, but it's too late now. So I think what I want to do is put this kind of on the edge here and just kind of do like a little collage with it. Fold it around. And then this one. And you can use wet glue. I just had this glow stick sitting on my desk, so... Um, you can put it here, or you can put it here, wherever you want to put it. But I kind of like it right here. And that way it gives whoever gets the card 
still plenty of room to journal on the card on the card so then you have a cute little card and of course you can add more decorations i'm just kind of showing you what you can do um, that you can use labels you know on all kinds of different things you can also use them for you know like labeling a page or even labeling a picture you know and you don't have to use these words on the labels you can take like um if you have the little black chalkboard labels you can use a white pen let me see if i can get my white pen to work so you can you know write in a date or a name or label a picture or label a page you know my white pen's running out but i don't know if you can see that but anyway you can use them as page labels photo labels ephemera labels and i mean these are big enough that you could actually journal on them i was trying to find one that was a different i don't have any well here we go let's just use one of these oh here we got one pulled out you know you can use this to journal on um, in a page layout uh so you can hang on let me clear spot <laughs> okay now maybe i've got room <laughs> but like if you wanted to journal you know if you had a spread on this journal page you know you could journal on this label and then because if you're like me i have a hard time um, sometimes especially i've noticed in a smaller journal like the one that i'm using right now which is this one you know and it's a lot smaller than this journal here sometimes i have a hard time writing in the journal um, it's a left-handed thing i'm pretty sure but anyways so i'll write on a label or something um you know and then glue it in to the journal you know so you've got your date You've got your journal in and whatever you've got on your page spread. You can take tabs and or labels and, um, you know, stack them and make it. That's really pretty, actually. I think I'm going to put that there. Just like that, because it gives it a little dimension, you know, and you've got it built up. You can do a collage on a page with a label. Let's find a page where we, we can do us a pretty little collage. I like this page. It's a good solid color. It's kind of a plain page. So if you want something to spiff it up, we could just do a little collage here. So let's just, where are we on our time? I haven't even paid attention. That's pretty bad. <laughs> and again, you can use Mod Podge or glue stick or whatever kind of glue you like the best. This one's just on my desk, so I'm using it. And I like a little bit of crinkle when I use the um, the sewing pattern tissue. I like it to crinkle up a little. And let's see, we've got some dictionary book page. Let's just tear us a piece of this off. I kind of like the way this is looking. Let's just add it right down through here like so and it just gives a little something to the page let me see what I've got oh I've got these I don't know that I like the teal on there but let's use this one even though I've already written on it I'm okay with that I think this will be good Let's, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my little scissors that are like this and like this. And then we're just going to go down the bottom. Like that. And then that will fit in there good. I don't think we're going to use the music. Oops. So we'll add that on the top scoot it down a little well I got that uneven that's one reason I like the glue stick because I can move it around a little I've put it in the wrong spot there we go and you can put this wherever you want to I kind of like it like right here in the center of the page can y'all see that hopefully you can see that there we go 
yeah so you've just got a little bit of a collage and then you know whoever gets the journal they can journal on this add a spread on this or whichever so anyways those are a few ways that you can use labels in your journals you can use them for page tabs tag toppers index card toppers decorations on tags or index cards you can collage on a page um you can write on them and use them you know as labels in your journal spread um or you can use them to tape ephemera, ephemera down, you know, like if you have a piece of ephemera that you want to add to your journal spread um, and you don't want to tape that ephemera, tape the back of a label and stick it halfway on the background page and halfway on your ephemera, you know, kind of like this. Let's just say this is your ephemera piece. So you would lay this down and put your glue here and then you could just use it kind of like a tape. So anyways... I'm just having fun guys and I thought I would share and let y'all um, just let the camera play while I played so anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video I hope it's not too long sorry it went as long as it did I like I say I've been trying to cut down the length of my video some but anyways um, if you um, are interested in the labels they're all in my shop you can find them there and they're for a really really good price I didn't go outrageous on them you know, I just figure I just would share with my friends. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And if there's something you want to see on a label, let me know. I'll see if I can make one for you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Big hugs.